Let's see it. What is it today? What's today maps? Space junk. That looks like tech. <laughs> All right. Space junk it is. Who are the best tech players? Players like Scrappy, Link, Carl Jr., Barbos, Ratchet, um, Maui, Dexter, um, Paul, Spam, uh, Masa, Loco. I named like half of Division 1. This map is literally left, right, left, right, drift, left, drift, right, drift, left, drift, right. Unique concept here. Tech is always very innovative, but at least it has interesting angles. What can we do here? Okay, at least we already know where to go. You will not get surprised on a tech map. There, it's not pathfinding. It's just... Left, right. Left, right. Up through the corner. Okay, it is actually quite interesting though. Like, it has some... There's gonna be real nerdy shit, but it has... The lines that are... For tech... Refreshing. Alright. Tech can get pretty... Repetitive. But this is, with the tilted roads and stuff, you get some drift angles that we don't see too often. That's the redeeming factor for this map. And then speed for the risky finish, right there. 39? Author time's a 38 low. Ooh, that is a very good setup. If I, yeah, if I survive and I just YOLO that, it's very good. I always drift too much in the first one. But not by a lot. Uh, what's this one? This isn't like a lot of speed. Yeah, and then here, low speed. I gotta look at it one more time. This one is very high speed. Oh god, I'm almost catching up despite the crash. Yeah, okay. 38 seems very doable. 38 low seems tough. This one's like, oh, that's good. Thirty-eight. Now to gain another second on top of that. Some time to begin right there. 
I take back my earlier critiques of this map. I really like it. It's it's actually refreshing. Compared to a flat tech map, I'd play this any day. Point four. <laughs> Kinda making you dizzy, yeah. I think it's gonna be tough for uh, people though to remember the not the turns, but how much to drift in each turn. Cause the uphill angles, like the gravity's always changing. Oh, sorry, it's a bit slow. Does anyone mind telling me what a tech map is? Uh, sure. The reason it's called tech is, it's short for technical. Uh, Trackmania has a lot of map styles, one of them is technical, and that just means a lot of drifts. If you see a map where it goes, drift to the left, drift to the right, drift to the left, drift to the right. This is a very technical road track, that's a tech map. In the past, this was the main competitive style, where people only did drifts. That was essentially who is the best at drifting. It's only recently that like World Championships and the Esport League has been focused more on all styles and not just drifts. But that also means that the players who were like fighting for the World Champion title and five years ago and stuff, they are so good at this because it was all they played back then. That's players like Massa, players like Complex. Local, spam, scrappy. Ratchet and Barbos you might see as well. Dexter. I think we're gonna see those atop the leaderboards very soon. If they're playing today. Ah, shit. No drift. Ooh. How much am I gonna bid on Muddy's chair? Yeah, I heard she was auctioning it today. Personally, I'm not gonna bid, but if you bid and win it, and you want a signature from me on it, I'll, uh, I'll throw one in. And then I'll ask Maji for 10% of the cut. East clap. Oh wait, he got a 37. That's fast. Why is there a finish at the start? If you ever see that, that is a uh, GPS. You can drive through the finish to see a demo run of the map. You might... I think you can cross it, but there's a lot of checkpoints, so it doesn't, it doesn't work. I haven't tested, but I don't think it works. Drive through it. And just beat the map. It would be crazy though. I want someone to do that once, for a couple of day. Place a finish, like, outside the map. Make it actually, like, finishable, get all the checkpoints, and just see if anyone actually bothers trying it. Like, there's a hidden finish in a couple of days.
Hmm. I'm losing a lot of speed there. I think I need to dare to risk more here this turn. Because you can, you can go very much on the inside and then recover in the next slide again. You don't have to set up very wide. Like tech, it's a lot about understanding like the, the motions. And here, I think if I take a line that's very much on the inside, it's going to work out. Then I have more speed. But it's easy to default to always starting a turn wide, going tight, out to wide, stuff like that. Here, I think you just stay here. I lost point two with that, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I gotta go back to uh, fundamentals. Hmm. Oh, my time is not good enough right now. I need like a tenth faster to get top 64, get division one. A uh, little bit less, little bit less, and then you're through. Tiny bit less. I mod is crushing. That's a really good time from them. Guys, I don't want to skip the dock. But we listened to one of his songs during Khaki and the video got claimed. I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. Fair enough. Just that means I can't listen to it. Because when I win this couple of the day and it goes on YouTube, it's a bit ha bad to have that video claimed. It's unfortunate. That's not good. Two minutes to improve. 0.6, dude. He's insane. Ooh, come on. I gotta improve. It might be enough, but it doesn't feel like it will be. Usually, people gain more spots than this, but it's a hard map, so I don't know. I'm not gonna take it for granted that I'm in Division 1. Hmm... One minute? Oh god. <laughs> we are on the brink of getting knocked out here from the Vision 1. Last run. Oh no. That is sketch. And I don't have a good start here. Pfft. 
I cannot improve with this. It better hold. 10 spots, pretty much. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're barely good here. We hold. But that is not a matter of a lot of time. Like, that is... Five hundredths of a second, I think, is the difference. I got that run super early on, too. And then didn't improve it. But guys, while I couldn't shave off a lot of time there in that qualifying run, you guys can shave off a lot of unwanted body hair if you check out today's sponsor, Manscaped. They have decided to sponsor the stream. Listen up. You know, people, they, uh, they, uh, we're, we're gamers out here, right? We're gamers. We're greasy, sweaty gamers, and we gotta get better. We gotta take care of our bodies. So, I recommend you get Manscaped, because you can, uh, feel a lot fresher if you use their lawnmower trimmer that lets you shave off body hairs it can be on your legs it can be down under um it has skin safe technology which means that it's less likely to give you cuts and any damages to your body uh, it also works in the shower it's waterproof uh, if you buy their performance package you get a nose hair trimmer you get a ball deodorant ball toner and anti-chafing boxers there's uh, a lot of good products they have. I recommend going to manscaped.com. Use code virtual for 20% off all their products. Your balls will thank you. And thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's stream. I appreciate it. I'd like to give a personal demonstration chat, but I'm not in the hot tub section, so I can't really show you how the product works. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. In track mana category, we can't do that. Uh, I kind of should have checked world record, but we're just gonna drive. You <laughs> know, like having virtual talk about my by nuts. I'm sorry. Look, it's actually okay. Can I get a show of hands, slow? How many of you guys have at one point or another uh, done some gardening? One or two. One or two. Right? That's good. That's actually more than I thought. That's good. I'm proud of you guys. One didn't even fancy BS. I mean, you can use scissors. You can use whatever. I think the most important part is that you do it. But I've been using uh, the Manscaped products for a couple of months. Before doing the sponsor. And uh, I think they're pretty good. But now let's focus on the driving. All right. The lies, it's, it's not lies because <laughs> Originally, originally, the contract I have with them said uh, sponsored stream must be done before the end of July. So they sent me everything to be ready for the end of July. But then, because a lot of things happened, <clears throat> Khaki, uh, among other things, <laughs> I, uh, I told them uh, I want to delay. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I got my priorities straight. Map looks hard? It is. It is hard. I have a rough idea how to play it. The lies are you shaved during khaki. I, I mean, I was healthy during khaki season. Just not really my um, 
My diet. My diet could have been better. But my sleep schedule... <laughs> ...was... ...revolutionary. How am I point seven behind? These players are on something else. I didn't even drive that bad. The 37 Andes, they're fast. Is Kaki over? Yes, it's over. It's a great month, but... We only really appreciate Kaki because it's only two times a year. Division 1, yeah. A uh, quick tip, you can always see it top left. If it says match 1, that means it's Division 1. Sometimes mine will bug out and say Division, uh, like, match 2. Uh, that's a bug I've had a few streams, but uh, that's still Division 1 if it happens on my stream. So, just want to let you know. That's like a common bug that is <laughs> sometimes <laughs> will display like a number 2 there. Um, but yeah, generally, you can trust that number. Just... It's good if you ask, if you see a 2, like, oh, did you get the bug again? And I'll be like, yeah. Then we can clear up that miscommunication. Oh, I think it's a very inside line there that they're doing. Not bad. 0.5 Only 0.8 behind Ninety percent division one it has to be like 91 percent at this point Yours is bugged adds a zero at the end. Oh, you get the one where it goes like one zero when it's supposed to be one. Yeah When will Kaki begin again? Should be like February, March ish. Dude, I'm literally lost. Not for long, though. Ooh, you can get a lot there. Just that downhill setup. I probably shouldn't have been Division 1 today. I don't I don't get my times here. A lot of people are faster. You just ordered code virtual work? Thanks. Yo, you're welcome. You're welcome. It's only if you, uh, if you need it anyways, and you... Can't afford it. I don't want anyone to feel pressured for me to buy it. It's like, virtual, I only have my... My last 50 bucks, but... I'm doing it for you. Like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You know, just be responsible, boys. You got this. Be responsible, clean adult human beings. Did raid hit me up? Yeah, uh, I don't want to do raid. Ah, uh, Yona, unlucky man. Raid- Raid is a interesting sponsor though. Just like, how it- Raid is so transparently sellout that it kind of becomes acceptable. In a weird way. Right? Like, everyone knows you're talking about Raid because it's Raid. And not because you genuinely like the game with all the heroes, the best MMO, mobile RPG. Like, Everyone knows. So it's kind of like, 
In that sense, it's fine, but it's still... I know people who end up spending several hundred bucks on the game. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if you can answer, but have you talked to you at all since everything happened? Just curious if you ever addressed everything? Uh, no, I've not talked to him since the cheating scandal. Uh, basically, he just deleted all social media. Kind of went offline. But people have been in contact with him. So he does exist. But I think he just kind of left it behind. It is terrifying how slow I am on this map compared to everyone. Map looks sick. It is pretty cool. The one thing that I don't like about Raid is that it's... Their campaigns are directly about how much you convert. So essentially how many people I would convince of you guys to play their game. I'm much more like sponsors where the product can just like speak for itself. Like I tell you guys about what it is and if you guys want it, you make your decision to get it or not and then that's it. Right? I don't want to sit here and be like, guys, please download it. Please do this for me. So I, you know, it's just like that, that feels invasive. Ray doesn't pay you if we don't convert. It's more you get paid per download. And you have goals you want to hit. So like at this many downloads, you get this much and whatnot. I've also heard from people who have done raid lately that the the amount you get from them has gone down because everyone knows about raid right now, so they don't need to market that much anymore. Like, look, I'm consistently among the slowest. My my days are numbered on this map. Why am I last there every goddamn time? What am I missing? Why am I point three behind? Oh man. Oh man. Not Pog Champ. That's actually out. Fuck. Ah, oh, I got 31st. Damn. Damn. It's still top 32, but it um it wasn't further. I need to see what I was doing wrong. I was losing 0.3 in the first two slides. Who was fast here? Seven was fast. I mod as well. Oh, they get a cleaner transition. Okay. Wide. What? 
Oh, wow. This is quite different from how I was playing it. Okay, yeah. You know what? <laughs> if I didn't go out that round, I go out in two rounds after that. Impressive. Thirty first, is that another glitch where it shows the wrong number? Yeah, right. It's that one where I'm supposed to be first, but instead it's uh it's thirty first. Okay, who do we watch? Who do we watch? Ooh. Vodka is playing. Vodka is my uh old teammate. Sorry for no food, I fell asleep. That was not my fault. I was just about to say we were in the Trackmania team together years ago, and it's cool to see that he's playing. <sighs> if he heard me and I actually cursed him, I'm sorry. I apologize, I take the blame. Is Solo here? No. I recently found out... Um, Solo is the Division 1 player who has been the closest uh, to winning, but has never won a cup of the day. He has, I believe it is, five second places, nine third places. And overall, he's played about 300 couple of days without winning. I, I really hope to see him win once. <laughs> Vodka saying he's from Alan Chad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, virtual, okay. Alright, okay, so you might have heard me. <laughs> uh, back to deep here. No, I think we'll uh, we'll stick around to see the result. And then I am getting quite tired, so I might I might call it a night after a couple of day. We'll see. Go for Maui. Is he in? Oh, he is. Maui is very good attack. Among the best, actually. He's a fantastic player. Really just marvelous when it comes to these slides. Stunning precision. He honestly never fails. Especially in the ending. Okay, he's immune. See, he he is immune. He got the the virtual vaccine. He can't be cursed. <laughs> are you watching hit? Are you watching a couple of are playing hit, man? I'm just I'm just testing some players here. One player who is immune is Marius, the safe meister. Marius never fails. And if you are a real Marius fan, you're never scared. That's one out. Boom. Marius back into the safe positions. I'm not scared. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not scared. He's down into last now, but I'm not scared. He is kind of out right now, but I am not scared. I'm a real Marius fan. And real Marius fans are not scared. He's clapped. Just drive safe. Sehr gut. All right. Let's spectate Wizzy. Who, if you don't know, is playing the game with a steering wheel. 
You might know of Grenati, who's a steering wheel player, but Wizzy is also playing with a steering wheel. You might see it when, like, this movement is much smoother back and forth. But of course, it's a full steer map, so you don't see it everywhere. Wizzy too? Yeah. I recently learned. Oh! Marius! <gasps> Wait, he got Wizzy. Oh, Wizzy failed the last jump. Damn. Okay. Okay. You like to play CSGO with a steering wheel? I saw Anomaly do that a couple years ago. <laughs> Looked insane. Looked insane. Who is someone I cannot possibly curse? I will not speak his name. I will just comment on his excellent gameplay. Which right now is very excellent. Still excellent. Didn't even speak his name. Didn't even say it. Alright. But surely Zenny can overtake someone. In the ending. Okay, top eight. This is every couple of the day. I'm not even trying. I hope you know I'm not even trying to make these people fail. I just <laughs> I'm rooting for them to do well. They can uh, win with the power. Sorry, with the pressure of me castle cursing them. Then they are truly worthy of the throne today. Aral in eighth. Ooh, inside line though overtakes Azox. <gasps> Super Carl. Azox hit the thing. No, blah, blah, blah. This is close. Carl goes wide. Azox hits the pole and is still in. I think in hype shoutcaster moments, you really gotta find the words to describe the situation while talking fast in an exciting voice. And Abadabada doesn't really cut it for the professional tier. It's not really a word I can use in a competitive setting. Might need to, uh, Rework my vocabulary a little bit. Let's go into the next round. Complex still in. Release there, though. Also release there. Very low speed lines for Complex. I don't think that's what he wants to go for, so... Struggling a little bit. Azox hits the wall again. It's down to last. Everyone gets the drift here. Maui having to release. Everyone gets the downhill. Azox is out. Good times now, too. Yeah, there's no shot I would have won this. Sixth place there also beats my personal best by a lot. Like you can see, 38-3, 38-1. So. Top six. Following Zika. Oh, complex! Ooh. Does he just DNF that? I respect that he keeps going. But this is a big mistake. Full risk into the first corner. And he should be eliminated there. Last turn. Someone would actually have to miss the finish. By like jumping too wide or something. Not gonna happen. Like, I feel like at this point, I talk about all five players in one round, there's no way I can predict who's out. It's not like the first person's name that I click right now will be eliminated. That would be crazy. If I click the person going out...
That would be wild. But luckily, I did not do that. This one, quite impossible to call. Gecko lost three tenths of a second as our realm made a big mistake. And that is RL out. Oh! <laughs> no, it's not. Sika missed the finish? Never mind. Okay. Okay. Tough map. Tough map. Top port. It really seems like the starts are the most important in most rounds, but that one missing one jump to the finish. Very costly. <sighs> Two different set of lines here. You can see Arel and Gecko double crash. Arel with a lot more speed though. Ooh, this could be Gecko out. I don't think anyone's gonna miss this last part. There you have it. Mudgy has my nail clipper? Okay, thanks. What place did I get? 31st today. Where's 12th from? He's actually German. But he's using the Nicaragua flag, I think. Top three. Hopefully no crashes. Ooh, Arel wide side up. Ah, that looks terrifying. Makes it through. Late drift there, carries a bit more speed. Still behind though. Point one. Last turn. Early inside line jump. No. They both drove very low times. 0.9.01 And it's Mavi versus 12. Both players have won before. Um, I think they are both have like four or five wins. Mavi maybe even more. On tack especially. But here we go. Slightly better start for 12. Oh, Mavi is late! Mavi crashes out. First corner in the finals. And, uh, yeah. Some finals go like that. Some finals do go like that. In Taku, it's like often either a really good one versus one or just full crash and DD. Still a good time though, 38 flat. GG's. What happens if both players DNF, then the person who DNF'd last wins. So he didn't even have to drive to the finish, he could just DNF himself and he'd win. <laughs> but yeah, GG. Fun uh, couple today. Very unique track. I enjoyed it.